and that won't go. I like it. I, I'm seeing more effort in the last couple minutes than we saw in the first half. It may not result in a win here tonight, but the effort is something they can build on going forward. And he curls in to the rim. Oh, can't get it to drop. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look. Just couldn't knock it in. Harden, New York's leading Brooklyn by a score of 37 to 30. Pierce. Excellent feed. Oh, what a play! If that's the best he can do as a defender, then he has to come out and sit next to me as the coach. You've got to keep the ball handler out on the perimeter and make him take jump shots. To George. Paul George with eight points and one steal. Pierce for two, shoots away, hits the shot. Paul Pierce is shooting 50% from the field here tonight. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense one out that time. Harden lets it go, able to knock it. down and James Harden with 15 points and Brooklyn calls a timeout trying to get back into this one the drive terrific ball movement person against green George jump shot and hits the three Paul George with 11 points and one steal hey you can only control what you can control the defense there was great it was just a better shot bad pass taken away there by Knight Person shot blocked. There's the whistle. Danny Green picks up his first of the night. And Chuck Person will go to the line with under a minute to go in the third. Knocks down the first one. And he makes them both. New York's leading Brooklyn by a score of 41 to 37. Lillard the jumper. Person the rebound. Come on, yo. Person against Leonard. Come on, yo. Moving the ball around beautifully. Knight jump shot. Can't hit from beyond the arc. To Gasol. Lillard on the drive to the basket, flips it up, gets that one to drop. Knight against Lillard. At the buzzer. Oh, and it counts as the quarter comes to an end. And that'll do it. Three quarters complete. The Nets down by three. Fourth quarter set to begin. Can they possibly keep this pace up? What an offensive display. Both teams have been offensive juggernauts so far in this game. And yes, if they continue to get these type of shots, they will have a great opportunity to keep scoring the ball the way they have to. Stops are critical, though, to try to win this game down the stretch. Looks like we'll have a timeout. The Knicks up by one.
Subbing in for Brooklyn, number seven, Carmelo Anthony. George. Drop steps toward the rim. George fires. It's good. A two-pointer. New York shooting 58% from the field. You don't want to make a living taking contested two-point jump shots, but here it worked out because of superior concentration. And the rebound taken by Randolph. He's averaging 10 rebounds per game this season. Gets an inbound. Pass into the post. Tries the up and under. It's good. A one point game. Harden against Knight for two. Able to put it in. Three point lead for the Knicks. They are consistently hurting the defense with the pick and roll game. Good screen. No switch or show by the man defending the screener leads to the wide open two point pull up jump shooter by the ball. Anthony's trying to get down low to George. He's got 11 points in this matchup. The two defenders swarm. Oakley can't lay it home. Trying isn't enough. You've got to close and get there and then finish it off by contesting the shot. To Westbrook. Westbrook from downtown. Nice box out by Anthony. Two minutes gone by in the fourth. Brooklyn's down by three. Fires away for two. Puts it in. One point game. Forced to make the pass from beyond the arc. Harden to 10 for three. No good. And that three-point shot that was so good for him in the opening half, he's now been betrayed by the same shots. He's missing them here in the second half. Oh, what a play! Hey, your first priority as a defense is to force them to shoot jump shots. When there is a drive, there's got to be help and make them kick the ball out to the perimeter and then close out. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Unable to flip it in. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great closeout, great contest. That's the way to get it done. Puts it down, what a play! That's just a very poor job of communicating there. Switching when you didn't have to, leading to the mismatch, and ultimately to the dunk. Harden on the drive, to the rim. Oh, what a move from James Harden. This isn't like the YMCA layup line. This is like real life. As you go in to try to finish, defense is coming over. This is spontaneous. The ability to adjust, contort, and still finish is a special, special gift. Oh, he beats the defender. Oh, quick move, gets inside. On the drive, knocks it down. One point game. Harden against George. Oh, terrific defense, picks off the pass. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? And Brooklyn calls a full timeout. They need to discuss things. You're down late in the fourth quarter of a close game. Your after timeout execution has to be flawless. They're probably going to run something that they've run many times through the year so that there is absolutely no confusion. They know where they want the ball to go to. Get it in your best player's hands. Get out of the way and let him dance.
we have a substitution here. Subbing in for Anthony against Leonard. Curls in. Oh, and he throws it down! A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Harden against McGrady. Wide open for three. Puts it in. Sweet play from Jake. Oh, turnover. That's the last thing they needed right there, Mike. A critical mistake. Gets to the rim. Puts it in. Four-point game. I love watching the attackers in our league be able to adjust, adapt, and then ultimately finish at the basket. Anthony against Leonard. Nice ball movement. Backing his way down in the post. Let's it fly. Oh, what shot. And that's just a joke right there defensively. You want to win, you close out harder. You can't just give up uncontested two-point shots. Strong to the goal. Oh, he knocks it down. When you play that good a defense and you contest the two-point J, you expect a good result there. The offense was just superior. The concentration and the follow through. He stuck his shot. Puts it up for three. Offensive rebound. McGrady gets into the paint. A good look for two. Strong on the offensive glass. To Anthony from three point land. Great offensive rebound. And this ball game is over as they lose to the New York Knicks by a score of 58 to 54. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching from Brooklyn. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Knicks got the win in a close game. What really stood out for me is how many times they scored on second effort plays. It takes heart to keep up that kind of execution. And these guys were relentless. It wasn't surprising to see this team on the losing end of this matchup. They weren't very good with their execution, and they suffered for it. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Rebounds. You can certainly compliment these teams for how they racked up the offensive rebounds. On the other hand, it makes you wonder why the same effort wasn't translated into defensive rebounding. player of the game. James Hart punished the opposition with a great game here today. He couldn't be contained offensively, and he put on quite a show on his way to being the game leader in points. Most of his scoring came from long range, and that's the biggest reason why he led all players in points. The opposing defense just couldn't keep him from getting his shot off. These are the top plays of the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.